What's up, ladies and gents? Sinister One, your host here, and welcome to a new video. This time we are showcasing what is one of the funnest things for me to do. So everybody knows I love to do walkthroughs and that kind of stuff, but one of my passions is to uh, play space games, you know, like Star Citizen, Elite Dangerous, things like that. And uh, thanks to Thrustmaster for providing this for me, I'm able to kind of show you how I go about and do that. So this is the Thrustmaster Hotas Warthog. This is an exact replica of a Warthog, and it is one of the best well-made pieces of equipment I've ever seen. This is truly amazing. It's made from metal, and it feels great. So I'm going to kind of give you a little tour of uh, the actual Hotas, and then we're going to go into Star Citizen, and I'm going to show you uh, how it kind of works and, uh, and have a little gameplay uh, for you. So as you can see, now uh, there's... All types of buttons that you can press here to do, and it's modeled exactly like the the, the Warthog from the Air Force, uh, and you can make it work with pretty much any type of space sim or any flight sim type of game, like X Plane Eleven or DCS or something like that. Um, there's so much you can do with it. So, uh, with that being said, let's take a little walk around. We got uh, this is at least what this is what I use for missiles. This little button right here. And it has a very good weight and feel to it. It feels like you're actually, when you hit, like it, it, nothing feels plasticky on this. It feels well constructed and well made. Um, this is the one of the hats. I actually use this for looking around the cockpit as well as looking around the ship. And you'll see that when we're uh, in external view and we can look around the ship so you can like see the world around you. Uh, this is actually used, uh, at least what I have it used for, is uh, like strafing, strafing up, down, left, and right. Uh, for my quantum drive, uh, there's a uh, looks like a four-way hat here. One, two, three, four that you can use, and this would be a great thing to use for like a mouse pointer or something like that. I don't have it set up right now, obviously in Star Citizen, but it does have a click that you can press in, as well as uh, I believe eight directions. So it's like a pretty much just like this, uh, only with an extra click. Uh, as far as other buttons on this one go that you can't see right now, we have I turn it this way. This is what I, uh, this little like kind of brake lever here I have used for the actual brake. So when I press this, uh, the ship will, you know, slow down and, and brake. Um, then there's also this button here. I don't think I have it set to anything right here. And it feels very, very well. And it feels good in your hand when you're using it around. And then here, you can see this little button here. This is what my countermeasures are. So I click that and then I'm able to uh, use my countermeasures in case uh, anyone is firing a missile on me uh, of some sorts. Now this particular model does not have um, twist access so it is mostly used for a lot of uh, for for a lot of games like you know DCS world uh, X plane uh, where you're actually going to use like a rudder system underneath you and pedals and stuff like that but I still love to use this for star citizen and elite dangerous because it just feels so well made like this thing is seriously heavy I mean you just see the shake. Like, it is freaking heavy. This isn't going anywhere. And when I move it around like this, it feels very, very weighty, but it also feels at the same time that it's sturdy, that it's smooth. It's like... Okay, so, like, if you look at something like this, this is a Thrustmaster's T16000M, uh, right? So this is a really, really made, but it is plastic, right? This is a lot cheaper, obviously, than this is. But this is still one of their best. And this actually has twist access on it, as you can see. You can twist, and everything is more plasticky, but it actually feels really good still. Now, I have the left-handed version because when I play Star Citizen, sometimes I like to play Duel, where I can use this as like my roll or yaw and still be able and use this actually as a throttle as well. So if you've ever played dual sticks, then you know what I'm talking about. This feels really good, but it's, it's not very heavy, obviously, because it's not meant to be. This is a, a cheaper option for those out there that um, maybe, uh, you know, don't want to upgrade to this. But this is still such an amazing, amazing uh, stick. And it also comes with a, a HOTAS as well that I have down here somewhere. I have like I have two of these that uh, that I have, and then I also have the throttle version of this too, uh, and that's another amazing stick. But obviously, you know, sometimes when you move it around, like you know, it can move a little bit. But um, this is just so freaking well made, and I can't say anything good about it. As far as taking it apart and putting it together, it is like super super easy to do. It comes right off, and as you can see. I mean, this thing is like beefy, really, really beefy. Feels good. This is the trigger. It's a du it's a dual stage trigger, meaning that if you press once, you hear a click, and then if you press it all the way in, 
So you probably can't hear that. If I get... That's the little click all the way on the inside. And that's the click at the beginning. So that's really, really cool. And obviously, you know, putting it on is super easy. You just set it to where it's um, straight, and then you turn this all the way until it's tight, but not too tight, obviously. And look at that, man. You're good to go. Now, as far as the throttle goes, this is the Thrust, uh, Thrustmaster Ward, uh, uh, Warthog th throttle. It's, obviously, it's a replica of the United States Air Force A-10 Charlie. Uh, so if you've ever seen the inside cockpit of the A-10, you'll see something that's very similar to this. So uh, you've got you know flaps and whatnot. Obviously, this is not really meant to be a space simulator throttle, but I use it as such. And so you're going to see me use a lot of these things differently than you would normal because obviously you don't need flaps when you're playing a space sim. The throttle feels really good. The pressure that it takes, and you can actually um, adjust it via this uh, function or friction switch right here. So if you want more friction, less friction, so it feels smooth or it feels a little bit more tough to actually move up and down. There are so many buttons on this thing, as you can see here. Um, this one is actually my reverse. So if I'm going forward in Star Citizen, I press this right here. And then now going forward means going backwards. So that way, if I overshoot a landing zone or something, I can press this button and then press forward a little bit. And then I'll start going backwards, hit this button again, I'll slow down and then I can, you know, reland. There's a lot of different buttons on here. So, you know, I have set for like uh, landing gear and whatnot uh, for zooming. I mean, there's so many things that you can do and that you can set up on this. It lights up so you get that really, really cool feeling of RGB, you know, when you're playing. Uh, it's freaking, <laughs> It's. I think it's about, it might be actually, I don't know. I think it's a little bit, I think it's slightly heavier than the stick itself which is saying a lot because the stick is freaking heavy. So this thing is not going to move on you, and it's going to feel really good. Now, there are a lot of buttons on here that uh, you can mess around with, as you can see. Um, and they all do different functions, like uh, uh, accelerator. So if I want to like have a little burst of speed, then I can press this right here. It gives me a little burst of speed. Um, and there's different things that you can set it uh, to. But again, this is modeled exa exactly after the A10. So there's so many buttons, switches, everything has a very good metally feel to it. Like, I mean, you can just hear that satisfying click, you know? Um, it, it was actually funny because they have a setting in Star Citizen for this that if you press that right there, you'll eject if you have a, a, a ship that has an eject button. And I didn't know that because I was just pressing buttons to see what things do, to see what they had them set at. <laughs> I just shot out of my ship, which is hilarious. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's, there's buttons everywhere. There's so many different type of tactical feels to it. Like, I'm not very well versed on, you know, all of this stuff as I've never really, you know, flown. Even though I'm in the Army and I've been in the Army for 18 years, I've never been around aircraft, which makes me love this stuff, but I don't really know too much about it. And again, I really only use it for Star Citizen and Elite Dangerous. I have got a little bit into DCS World lately and X-Plane, trying to figure out how to use it and whatnot and... and and all that. And I got to say that it's truly, truly amazing. And I really, really enjoy it. So what we're going to do now is that we're going to take it into the game of Star Citizen. You're going to see me and uh, a friend of mine. We're going to go around. We're going to use it uh, with some combat and uh, just some normal play with Star Citizen. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this first look at uh, Thrustmaster Hotas Warhawk. I'm going to have way, way more uh, videos for you guys in the future on this as this is my go-to uh, system, you know, between using uh, all three of these uh, at the same time is amazing. You know, like if I'm just flying around and I want that immersion of flying around, then you go with the the, the actual, the HOTAS, the full system here. Uh, but when you go to combat, man, there's nothing like using these two together and uh, really, really makes you kind of feel really cool. Um, but hopefully you guys uh, enjoy and uh, enjoy the gameplay. What's up, ladies and gents? We are in game right now with Star Citizen using the Warthog. Obviously, thanks again to uh, Thrustmaster for providing this and allowing me to show it off to you guys. So I've actually got three uh, different uh, products from Thrustmaster right now. So this right here, obviously, as you guys have already seen, is uh, the, the, the Hotas Warthog joystick. Uh, and here is the other part of the Hotas, which is actually the throttle. Uh, here is the Thrustmaster 16,000M, uh, which is... Uh, 
really great. And what I've actually set it up to do, we're not going to do it today, but what I've set this up to do in the past is actually have double, um, double joysticks or dual joysticks, which allow you to be able to uh, kind of like control everything, every all your turns and all that kind of stuff can be done with two dual joysticks. And I do plan on doing a video of, of uh, the two joysticks uh, in a little bit at some point. But uh, right now we're kind of focusing on how I have the actual Thrustmaster Warthog set up. So uh, with all different types of, uh, you know, HOTAS systems, joystick is obviously going to control your ship. And right now we're at the planet Hurston. Um, now this joystick sp specifically doesn't have a yaw feature, obviously, because this is modeled off of a off of a real life uh, fighter stick. So it does not have yaw built in because usually you have, you know, rudder pedals and stuff like that. So I've actually put it over to here, and then if I do this, that is my my roll, right? And I set this to yaw. So left and right yaw. Obviously, pitch up and down. Very simple to use. Right now, we've got a mission that I've set, and that mission is just straight up bounty mission. So I'm going to go into um, our contracts manager here, and we're going to do that mission. So let's go to accepted, and we're going to go after. We have a bounty hunting mission wanted, Omar Corley. It. I mean, I very well could die during this, so I apologize. Star Citizen is a work in progress, so you can die pretty easily from playing this game. Uh, without any explanation, server crashes, things like that. So if it does, uh, you know, I'll edit it out and we'll be right back in game. So let's find out where he is and we need to go here. So we're at a space station right now above uh, Erston. So we're going to get set. And as you can see, I'm using that there and I got the throttle up and back. As you can see, it goes forward. And the way that I have this set up is my flaps over here uh, is actually set up to move uh, our speed limit so if I set this as you can see it goes faster or it goes slower right so this is like kind of like cruise control right so I'm gonna set it up to right there and then I push it back in the middle and then it's ready to go and then it just stops right there now think of this as that so right now our top speed when I have this the cruise control set to 706 means 100% forward is 706, 100 all the way back is zero. And in between, that is in between 706 and zero. So that's how you control your speed, or you can set it all the way up. And then if it's all the way up, we actually go even significantly faster. Um, it'll go up to, I think, to about maybe 1,200. I think it is. I think it's around 1,200 uh, meters per second, I believe is what it is, 1,235. So we don't want it set that fast because it's a little bit harder to stop. But I've got this little gem of a button right here that's set, uh, our pinky button, set to break. So immediately you press that with your pinky and then it'll slow you down. But once you let go, it's going to speed right back up because you have your, your thing set. Now, even though that is set, if we still press down, as you can see, we're still going back but and we'll still go back all the way down to zero so this again is dependent of where you are on the between the two lines if that makes any sense so i've, I've reached the middle point right there and it goes all the way back up so right now we're just going to go ahead and set this to a normal speed right there and then we're going to go ahead and set our quantum which i have set to this hat so it's going to turn our quantum on there's the local bounty. So we're going to hit F2, which is going to bring up... And see, a lot of this game, you have to kind of switch between mouse and keyboard as well. So let's zoom out to where this bounty is. So the bounty is going to be over here. Locate bounty. Set route. Perfect. And now you just heard that, right? The quantum is jumping, and then we're ready to go. So once everything is spooling, is complete. Calibration. Hold that in, and then we are jumping. And I can uh, jump around here and use this uh, stick here to actually be able to control where we're looking which is pretty cool and this is built of metal construction so this is like very very nice it feels very heavy and you won't get any accidental you know button presses or anything like that you'll everything will be so very very precise all right so as we're jumping in we need to uh, take out this bounty 
Now, also, I want to make sure, so I'm going to back out a little bit as soon as we jump in here. I want to make sure that our stuff is set right, so we have to do this. So we're going to go down here to my guns, and we're going to make sure they're all set to stage one, or zero. That's how I have it set up in the game. And let's go. 642 kilometers away, we should, if I'm not mistaken, be able to turn it back on and quantum right to him. As you can see, it's very easy to use. And it's very intuitive as well. Alright, let's back it up so that way when we come out, we're going a little bit slower. As you can see, we're, we've stopped right now. So he's going to be around here somewhere. There he is. Alright, let's go ahead and set him. There he is. And he is set. So we got to get close enough before we can actually fire on him. We don't want to go too fast. Usually about 2,500 meters, that's when other people are already firing on him as well. It's a little tough to do. Um, it's definitely not easy because this game is still a work in progress. So as you can see, Aemon is not too bad. But when you play other games, specifically like Elite Dangerous or other type of fighter games, I mean, aim is on point. But this game just doesn't have uh, doesn't have the perfect aiming just yet. Okay, looks like we're under attack as well. He's attacking us. Oh, he's gonna kill us. But hurry up, we're gonna get in there. Oh. almost taken out. Oh god, we're going up against a Mustang Delta, which isn't too bad. Don't let him get too far away. Come on, we almost got him. Okay, he's almost... Come on, he's almost done. Okay, we got our shields back up. That's good. Oh, he's coming in fast. Yes! Oh, he's about done. He is just about done. He's only got like a few more hits left and then he'll be done. As you can see, the game is still, like I said, a work in progress. Everything doesn't work as perfectly right now. There we go. We got him. Nice. And we have another guy right here that we can... It's a saber though, so I am not even going to touch going up against this saber right now. It will destroy us. The saber is an amazing, amazing ship that I don't even want to try to go up against right now. But you can see how in intuitive it is. And even when you add the dual stick, like say you just want to get the stick and then you can also pick up the 16,000. I mean, I like I said, I don't have it on right now, but I will show a video of that sometime in the next uh, couple of weeks, uh, which is so amazing when you're actually flying around dual stick. It's, it's something, it's so unbelievable. But... For that authentic freaking experience, man, having the HOTAS is truly, truly amazing. All right, so let's see if we have any other missions that we can do. We're going to go ahead and bring up our contract manager. Might give us another bounty mission. Yep. This one, bounty contract. Hurston Dynamics right here. Wanted, Samo Oyeti. Okay, we'll set it. It's tracked, and let's find out where it is. So we're gonna hit F2. We can zoom out. Sometimes, if it does that, if you double click, like see, some, like like I said, this game has a lot of bugs. There it goes. Let's find out where it is. Okay, we've got it set, and it's up here. All right, so twenty. Four kilometers away. Uh oh, this guy might actually be the guy that uh, we literally was like, nope, I don't even want to try it. So this is going to be uh, quite something. So 
I just love how intuitive and how everything works perfectly. Like I've got everything set for my landing gear here. So if I press up, landing gear comes up landing gear or comes deploy. down, depending on which, which, uh, which way you have it. Pretty cool. Okay. There he is. Landing gear. Okay. This might be, this guy might be actually different. All right. So he is not that guy. Good. Perfect. All right. Another Mustang Delta. That's, that's better. That's easier to handle. Now let's see if we can get our missiles. Now right now there's a problem in this ship that missiles aren't working as you can see. Missiles didn't come up. I'm not the only one after this guy it looks like. Straight hit Pete Eater Wingman. Yeah, hey, come on out. All right, yeah. We got a we got a guy in here with us. Come on out and help us out, man. Cool. We're taking care of business here, doing a little bounty hunting. Let's see here. Oh yeah, I got you on, uh, on radar here. He is jumping all over the place. In this game, yeah. it's actually almost better to go gimbaled and then have auto gimbals on just because it makes aiming a little bit better a little bit of desync going yeah, on yeah but i am telling you you really feel the weight of the warthog when you're using it like you it really feels like you have something that is well made constructed he is almost done look at his ship oh my god somehow we're still alive warthog's my favorite fighter always will be oh oh he hit us i oh Oh, but, oh my god, he ran right into us, but luckily we didn't actually, uh, we didn't blow up. That could have easily, we could have easily blew up right there. Got him. Nice. There we go. Two bounties down. Awesome. So you have to, uh, to bring into account that, but what I love about this ship is I can press R a few times, and now I've got auto gimbals on. So we're going to go ahead and set a mission here. I will get us something, and then I will set you as well. Um, yep. We want in Hurston Dynamics. And you, uh, you should see... Let's see. Do you want uh, personal, or do you want a bounty hunter? Doesn't matter to me. Um, whatever you... Bounty, bounty hunter is going to give us... Uh... 2,000. Well, it depends. Yeah, 1,500. 1,500 is what it says. So let's do that one. Cool. Yeah, let's knock that one out first. I and think as we share. complete those, they'll give us harder targets. Let me know when you got it. Yep, got it. All right. So I'm going to find it out here. We're going to Ida. Okay. Now, and if you, uh, uh, on your ship icon, you should now see, I think, my turret moving. You see that? Where would Panning that be at? Forth. Uh, oh, I do. I see it. Your little, yep, I see it on yeah. the top left. Yep. If you look at the top yep. left, there's like a little cone of awesomeness yep. that's moving left and right. And that's that's my direction. And that's aim, your so. that's your cone of awesomeness. Yep. Now I will do my best. I'm going to try to let you take care of as much as you can. So you explain to me where you need me to go, and then yep. I will uh, I'll move from, from there. Okay. Uh, You're on the bottom, you've right? Got... Yep, I'm on the bottom. So I need you to try to be idea. above the target as much as I can. You got it, yeah. And, and you got some pretty beefy guns up front, though, so... Yeah, if I need uh, to use my guns, then I will, but I... I Uh-oh, we're getting, oh, uh... Getting interdicted. Getting interdicted here. All right, hopefully it's... Something we can handle. Yeah, it's enemies. It's enemies. Yep, there's a Drake Caterpillar. Uh, um, there's a Drake Buccaneer. Uh, oh, shit. Opening fire. You're going to do it? All right. We can yeah, run if you want. It is it's quite a... There's quite a few of them. Oh. Okay, I'm going to go the wonders above us. So I'm going to... He's right there. Let yep. me know when you're I on. I see him. him. Yep. Firing. Hitting. Oh, that's a pirate constellation. It's a big guy. It's the same ship we are, basically. Can you see him? Are you good? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm hitting him. We've got a shield down. 
Don't crash on me. Oh, oh, okay. oh, oh, I'm lagging hard. I know. I just lagged too, but we're good. Yeah. We're fine. Cool, cool. All right, cool. I want to see if I can aim at him too. Can you still see him? Yep, yep. All right, sweet. Yeah, you got. Yeah, you can definitely. We, I'm keeping his shield down on the on the back. So yeah, I'm getting. Have, I'm getting um, a bunch of good shots cool. in. Nice. I think he's. Oh, he's. Oh, he's about to. We're taking hits, but we're we're pulling our. Oh, we got nice. him. Boom, son. Relax. Two thousand. Nice. Did you get that too? Yep. Yep. Call it because the called arms. Yep. Oh, that was awesome. All right, let's uh, let's head. Is there another target out here or no? There is. Uh, there is. Lawn Vader yeah, is in a Drake Cutlass Black. I'm gonna go ahead and move to him now. Yeah, that'll be some extra money for us. Just on the. See, uh, this is what I'm talking about. Like, like you can overshoot your target a lot easier in these types of uh, ships. All right, there he is. Uh, where is he? I'm not seeing him on radar. He's straight in front of us. Uh, I cannot see it. I can't lock that target. Oh, wait. That's why, because I'm... That's me. There we go. Yep, see, I got that's it. the thing. is, is His thing is moving around so much. His, his aiming. Oh, he's down. Boom. Big time. Boom. Thousand. Piece cake. Nice. Is that a blue? What is that ship right there in front of us? Uh, that's the... That's a uh, that's a caterpillar. No, 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 not the caterpillar. The one that's on oh. fire. Oh, it's I gone. Think that's just a it's piece gone. of it. Uh, yeah, that was a, a the uh, the blue color is the. Uh, well, we got their, another one. We got another one. Oh yeah, we do. Shields damaged. Engaging. Damaged. Engaging as well. Yeah, another Connie. Should be good money. Oh, they, they definitely improved turrets. Like, maybe able to land some pretty consistent hits. That's great, dude. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna have to let you take it. I gotta uh, rest up on my weapons a little bit. Yeah. Uh, he's getting outside my range. Oh nope. Now he's. I'm back. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking him back. Yep. I'm trying not to let him get above a thousand. Oh, I'm overheating too. There we go. Oh, he's about done. Weapon system critical. Come on, just let me keep firing for. That's right. I'm, I'm on him. Moments. Got him. All right, we got another one. Okay. Going to the next one. Boy, at this rate, we can just keep the keep killing these guys as they come in to try to take out this caterpillar. Yeah, it's a buccaneer. He should be pretty. He's going to be agile and hard to hit, but once we get him, he should be done. Oop, I almost hit our caterpillar, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, he's really fast. Check and the ship fire. Is super, yeah, I know. Super hard to maintain a shot on him, but... Oh, uh, yeah, he's an agile little shit. Come on. Shields, damage. He should be able to take us out as a little buccaneer. Yeah, he doesn't have enough firepower, I don't think. But he is proving difficult to hit. Very difficult to hit. Oh my god! Every time I get there, I go, I, I, I shoot too far. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I okay. just realized. That oh my god! Money. Every single time I get on him, he goes the opposite direction. This is definitely not a fighter ship. For sure. Yep, yep. And this this is the highlights why the small agile ships are are dangerous to bigger ones like this one. Oh, I got some consistent hits on them though. Almost. I made if, it through. The one thing of his is I can't base. for some reason I can't get my uh missiles don't work. Yeah, there's a bug with missiles right now. Not surprising. Oh he is doing some massive damage to us. Yeah, he's hitting us We hard. can't do anything. Yeah. yeah, we can definitely handle ships our own size, but this guy's proving elusive. Okay, I got there him. There we go. Yeah, I got him bracketed. Come on, buddy. Yeah, but his thing just moves around so much, his circle just will not yep. stay still. He's doing a strafing run on our the guy we're trying to defend. There we go. I got a few hits on him there. 
Got him. Oh, yes. there we go. Nice shot. Woo! Nice shot, kid. One in a million. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Listen, you are so welcome, good. Mr. Caterpillar, that we saved your life, okay? <laughs> you would think yeah, you would respect you us a little bit more. A I know. <laughs> we got another one. Really? Constellation Andromeda. Uh, all right, we'll take it. I have a feeling it's just going to keep coming. All right, this guy's more my speed. Big ship. Something you can just dump damage. firepower into it. Got him. There we go. Nice. All right. Do you want to go ahead and uh, let's continue on with our mission, I guess? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is another one of the fast agile little guys. He's going to be hard to kill. I think we've done our duty here. Our due diligence. Oh, is he still shooting at us? He is, but I don't think he's got an interdiction field. Here, I'm going to speed up on him a little bit. Yeah. He's not going to be able to take us out. There's no way. There we go. We're good. No. Nope. Yeah, we're fine. I think he's breaking off to go after the caterpillar again. Yeah. yeah, he's going back after the cat. Sorry, buddy. He's your problem now. <laughs> yeah. Got to fend for yourself. We, we we did all we could. Yeah, we. I mean, we gave him plenty of chance to get out. <laughs> so beautiful. I just like to stare at the planets when you come in like this, you know? All right. Yeah, it's just getting better and better. The uh, cloud system is For sure. up, uh, in a few more months, supposedly. Okay, quantum beacon. It says it's obstructed, so is there something in my oh, way? It's right around the edge of the planet. Really? Yep. Okay, so... Yep. But usually it lets me... Uh, it shows me something else. Um, yeah, do we have an OM uh, we can jump to? I don't see an OM at all. Mm. How are we going to do this? Yeah, he's right to the edge of the planet. That's pretty... You know, we could What's try the distance? just... What's uh, 749? We could just try scooting away from the planet so that it'll unobstruct it. Yeah, I can go yeah. up a little bit. Yeah. I don't know how well that'll work, but we could try. I'll set it to max, and then I'll take a look via the uh, third person to see if we're actually... Well, I can, I'm looking at it right now, because I'm in the turret. So, uh, Yeah, I can tell you, we're... Yeah, in about 20 more seconds, 30 more seconds, we should be unobstructed. Awesome. Yeah, keep that up. So you guys can see how easy it is it can actually be to use a, uh, a HOTAS system in Star Citizen. And it's super fun. Obviously, you have to use mouse and keyboard for things like uh, first-person combat and moving around in, on foot. But, all right, we're blue. I can actually travel there now. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I, I, uh, I bought a Steam controller recently. Um, they were on sale, and um, I've been thinking about... Um, I've never I used one of those. Are they actually good? Uh, so far, it's been pretty nice. It's just uh, it's going to be a lot of work to get everything mapped properly with it, but for running around on foot... Seems like it might be a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. And then you could you could easily have a joystick with a controller right there too, to pick up when you want to switch. Okay, we're gonna overshoot him. Uh, Fast. Yeah, I got him locked down though, and I am opening fire. Yep, I'm locked. Well, you're a little too far away. He's nine thousand meters away. Oh so yeah, yeah, you're absolutely right. I don't really think that's gonna do any difference. He's gonna. He, yeah, we're gonna shoot nope. by him a little bit right now, but once yep, we yep. get back down to normal, then we'll start catching up. Start shooting before I realized <laughs> he's way out of range. Yeah, he's out, actually out of my targeting range right now, so I'm gonna bring it up. That's the thing with the ship; is sometimes you can overshoot. You know, a lot of mass, a lot of uh, momentum. Yep, I got lock on him again. Yep, and we're coming in quick. Oh, he's swinging around fast. Oh, it's a Mustang Delta. Okay. Oh Firing. God! Of course, he runs right Whoa. into us just about. Yeah. They aim, it's like they aim right for us, man. Yeah. It's actually a, 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 a item on the roadmap, I believe, is to fix that. Oh, he's shooting rockets at us. It's kind of cool. 
I'm watching rockets just fly right past. Oh, 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 oh! Hit him hard. God, we we literally blew. We he blew up right in our faces, man. <laughs> Jeez. Yep. That's so fun. Yeah, he sat nice and still, and I knew he was flying straight at us. <laughs> That's what they do, man. They just go straight. They're like kamikazes, bro. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this uh, first look at the Thrustmaster Warthog and the gameplay for Star Citizen. I plan on having a few more videos of some different games upcoming very, very soon, like Elite Dangerous and whatnot, uh, as I really wanted to, um, you know, to show this gameplay off because I'm telling you, man, it's like it changes the game when you can actually play as something like this. It really, really changes the game when you have this sophisticated hardware. Uh, so I will definitely have linked in the description below where you can uh, purchase this device. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. And again, thank you to Elec for uh, joining with, uh, with me, uh, doing a little co-op, kicking some butt. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Love you all. Take care of yourselves, and I'll have plenty more soon. Hotess out. Or Warthog out. <laughs>